Hey guys, so um, I actually made the longest video for a haul. It was like 22 minutes, so I kind of thought that was crazy and boring. So I'm going to make this one super kind of fast, I guess. I'm just going to talk fast, go through it faster, just so it doesn't lag on. So these are um, a collective amount of things that I got in the past, I'd say, two weeks or something. So... It's not too long, but it is a lot of stuff, so I'm going to try to go through it faster than I did when I previously filmed this. So the first three things I got were these Nivea Lip Butters in Raspberry Rose Kiss, um, Vanilla and Macadamia Kiss, and the Caramel uh, Cream Kiss. So the only one I tried so far was the Caramel Cream Kiss, but I have smelled the other ones and it's kind of like really liked them the formula at least and I've fallen in love with these and they are definitely something great to have especially as backup the next things I got were wet and wilds and these are actually limited edition palettes I got five out of them and I think there's five or six I can't really recall but the first one is a regular at the factory which was probably like my top one of my top two or one of the top three the next one is to moose and caroose which I really like this one too and then the next one is your 15 minutes aren't up which reminds me of Easter I'm seeing triplets, which is just kind of a fun one, I'd say, and hard being the it girl, which definitely reminds me of, like, bubblegum pink and then just, like, a nice blue, but I really like these. I think they're definitely fun and um, definitely for this season, which is nice. The next thing I got were these finally came in stock at the drugstore near me, and it's going into the wild, and nude awakening these both are super pretty i heard such good reviews and i'm glad i can like use them now and follow tutorials or anything that somebody might have put up before the next two palettes are the alme wake up and this one is revive which is a really pretty green which is basically why i picked that one up and then this cover girl in tropical fusion which are nice compared to the they're nice, just like the Wet n Wilds are nice, but they're definitely more dull and less vibrant, which kind of is nice because you can bring them into the fall and winter. The next two things are also limited edition, and these are the Maybelline Great Lash. They're actually colored mascaras, which I haven't seen them like in drugstores until now, and they come in six different colors, I think, or five, so I just picked up these two, which are actually the less of the vibrant ones, I would say, and it's Icy Blue and So Very Berry, which this one's kind of like a maroon-ish color, and then this one's just a dark blue one, and I think it's going to be really great to try out, and something fun, but definitely not for every day. The next things I got were from Forever 21, and they're these three bows, which I am obsessed with bow clips. I probably have about 15 of them. But, yeah, they're really fun. And I think they just dress up an outfit if it's just, like, jean, like, jean shorts and a t-shirt. And then I got this one, which is probably one of my favorites. And it just has this gold detailing on it. And a black one, because I don't have a black one in this size. Not a solid black one. And then a white one, because I also don't have a white one in this size. So, they're really fun. I got three pairs of sunglasses, which is kind of excessive. But I have... Also, a sunglass collection along with a bow collection and a makeup collection. Yeah, I have a lot of collections, I realize. But these are really, I love these. They kind of remind me of something that Miley Cyrus would wear, which I love her style. But this has just the gold rim, which definitely adds to it and um, makes it stand out more. But I really like those. And then this one, these are nice because they're just regular and um, they're just solid brown. And they have this gold side, which is great because it's not completely all like just the plastic um, color and then this one I really like because they remind me of my Steve Madden's which I don't know where they are right now but I have a pair of Steve Madden's that look like this except I think they're rose gold and this pink detail and I think they have might have pink detail too on them then I picked up um, back to makeup sorry I'm going back and forth I'm just picking up whatever is honestly in front of me is this prestige blush and it's in candy pink which is really pretty and I think I can definitely get use of that throughout the whole entire year. The next is this CoverGirl Flamed Out Mascara in um, Max Volume. And this is in Black Slash Brown Blaze, 
which is nice in 310. So I got this because Gregory Gorgeous, aka Gigi on here, recommended it, or not recommended it, but mentioned it in a drugstore. So I wanna try out some products that he's trying out, which is really cool. The next are these Maybelline Fit Me's because I did see reviews on them and I was interested to try them for the consistency and the coverage. And I got 220 and 230 because 220 is, I think, what I am regularly in the Maybelline Fit Me. So this, yeah, I am 220, so I did get 220 and 230 just because I probably am definitely getting a lot more tanner than I was in the winter. And then I got 220 for later for like this winter and stuff, and it's just by Maybelline. Um, the next thing are these three Neutrogena lip balm stain things. It's the Moisture Smooth Color Stick, and I got these three in. This is Caramel, Warm Caramel which is pretty. It's just a brown, which I normally wouldn't pick up, so that's kind of why I decided to pick it up. And then in Sweet Watermelon and um, Juicy Peach. So that's what they all kind of like look like against each other. But Emily Noel 83 on here mentioned these in her like awards for the um, makeup awards that she does every year. And she said that these are great with pigmentation, great with moisture. They don't dry out the lips, which I find to be the biggest issue with those kind of... Um, balm stain things. The next thing is this Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner um, from Rimmel in Red Diva and I just thought this would be great for any dark or red lipstick just because you need a liner for red lips especially. So I thought I would pick that up. The next thing is this Chocolate Mask and this one's, um, I don't know, I haven't tried it and I thought I might as well and it was only like a dollar or something. The next thing is from Sephora and I picked up two things from Sephora. The first thing is this Stay Flawless 15 hour primer. I heard a lot about this. I honestly just like the packaging which is one of the main reasons why I picked it up. But it does have this um, filter because it's brand new. But yeah, I'm really excited to try this out. I think it'll work great and hopefully it works with oily skin. The next thing is this Mega Forever um, just a sample of the HD foundation which I already had before so I knew my color and stuff and how it works with my skin and it doesn't break me out so I'm just going to bring that on vacation with me. The last thing that I got from Sephora was this Too Faced eyeliner and it's um, waterproof which is nice and it's in the perfect storm and just a pencil one it has the smudge on the back, the back or bottom so yeah. And then I went and I got some face masks at Lush. So I was just going to mention these really quick. The first one is Brazen Honey, which I like. The next one is Oda Fix, which smells like banana bread. The next one is Cosmetic Warrior, which is going to help with my acne prone and oily skin, which is mainly why I picked it up. And the last is Love Lettuce, which is uh, like a cult favorite. And it's just... Really, it seems thicker than the other ones and harder to get off. And then I got Sacred Truth, which I finished up, so I have loved this. And the um, BB Seaweed one, which I really love too. Then more drugstore is this Stay Matte Rimmel, because I am actually have another one that I opened. So I wanted a backup just in case. And these are both in translucent. Transparent. Transparent. Translucent. Transparent. I don't know why I said translucent. The next thing is this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Press Powder, which I tried before, but I got it in the light to medium, which was too light, so I got it this time in the medium, and I gave the other one to a friend, so I didn't just throw it out because I only used it twice, but this is really nice. I love their powder. It's really, like, a good consistency. The next one I got is just, um a lip butter and this is in wild watermelon which I couldn't remember if I picked up or not so I just decided hey why not pick it up I got two L'Oreal Magic Nude liquid powders these are like $13 which is really expensive for a drugstore but I decided to get classic tan and sun beige which is 330 and 328 because I didn't know what color I would be and I didn't yeah I'm not I wasn't really sure um I did pick up this but this was a totally different thing it wasn't from the mall it was just from a jewelry party and it's this I don't know if you can tell but it's this pretty turquoise and it has like a little dangly thing 
but I really love this ring, and it was pretty expensive. I think it was like $50 or something, but it was one of those things that I wanted to treat myself to along with um, the wallet that I showed you before from Michael Kors, which I love. And then I also have this, which I got from a Lush, and it kind of looks like a, a boob. It's just this. I forget what it was called. But it's this massage bar. So you're just supposed to massage it. And that's why it's shaped like a cone. But the lady there told me that it was based off of Madonna's um, when she was like wearing those cone boobs. So that was kind of weird and awkward. And then the other thing I got from Lush was this tea tree water. And it's just this toner water, which is nice. And I like how it sprays out. So I use that before I do my actual makeup in the morning. And, oh, I also got this, and this is just, um, Benefits Professionals, and, yeah, I just got this for, um, traveling as well. And then I got some stuff for my godmother's mom because she's actually at a nursing home right now, and I want to do something nice, and I know she likes getting things, and I'm sure they don't get that much mail and stuff, so... Um, me and my godmother made up a list, mainly her, because I don't really know her mom that well, um, to know, like, what she loves, but I did pick up the things that she do, does like the most, and this one's a crossword puzzle. She did, I did get some Chex Mix, which is really loud, so I'm not going to take out the other bag, but I just got two because they were also on a deal, and these were also on a deal, too, and they're just suave deodorants because they, she just thought she would like them, and they're, um, fresh and everlasting sunshine. And then I got three Essie polishes, and they are in Saint Tropez, which is this one. Um, topless and topless and barefoot, which is this pinky one, and then this other one that's Mamba, which I thought was prettier and kind of like more bolder because these two are both definitely more neutrals. But she likes um, neutral colors. And then I got this Aveeno lotion for her. And then I was going to pick up some, like, little fun spring-summer towels from Target. And then I got her these Paper Me um, pens. And they're erasable, which I thought was really fun. And she likes erasable pens. And, oh, my godmother got me this. Actually, she didn't get me it, but... She was using it, and I love these cameras. I have another one, so she just said, why don't you, do you want it? And I was like, that's so nice. Yes, I want it. So she gave me this bag, which isn't what it came in, but I think that's what she was holding it in. Um, so it's the farmhouse store. I don't really know what it is, but yeah, that's where it is. That's like what it's stored in. She gave me this, which is a pack of two, which is really generous because then it's 20 photos. And... I don't know where my other camera is. It might be in my car, but I have the regular white Polaroid that I got like a year or no, I got two years, three years ago. I got it December 2010, but she just got me this one, which is way nicer. It has this little case for the lens cap, which I have on it right now, but this is just um, a nicer version of the beginner one, like the first one that I got. So it has like this which is the cap and it has way more settings here and they look like nicer and put together and yeah it just and the quality is pretty much equal to the other one I would say it just looks more sleek and my other one is weird at when it starts counting so I think I'm just going to start using this one from now on I might use the other one I'm not sure because I don't want it to like take away film or eat up film but that is the haul. I went through that really fast just because I didn't want to spend another 22 minutes on it. So I decided to wrap it up, get it under 15 minutes. And that is all I have for you guys. I will do reviews and um, and add some of my this stuff to my favorites so you know what I prefer and what I don't. And yeah, that is it, guys. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you later. Bye.